Welcome to my video lesson. In today's video, I will give a view about healthcare workers. I made this video for a nursing student and for everyone who has curiosity about nursing. Today's topic is healthcare workers. We set this material because you may become one of them in the future, actually if you're a nursing student. After you watched this video, I want you to be aware about your career path. Through this video you will know some medical personnel who will collaborate with nurse. Because principally nurse is working in a team that consisted various healthcare workers. Vacation of healthcare workers based on the International Standard Classification of Occupations 2008 Revision. International Standard Classification of Occupations is a system for classifying and aggregating occupational information obtained by means of population censuses and other statistical surveys, as well as from administrative records. The classification of health workers maps occupation categories into five broad groupings. The first category is health professionals. The second category is Health Associate Professionals. Next category is Personal Care Workers in Health Services. The fourth is Health Management and Support Personnel. And the last category is Health Service Providers Not Elsewhere Classified. Let's see the details of each category. The first category is Health Professionals. Health professionals are persons who study, advise or provide preventive, curative, rehabilitative and promotional health services based on an extensive body of theoretical and factual knowledge in diagnosis and treatment of disease and other health problems. They may conduct research on human disorders and illnesses and ways of treating them, and supervise other workers. The knowledge and skills required are usually obtained as the result of study at a higher educational institution in a health-related field for a period of three until six years leading to the award of a first degree or higher qualification. Health professionals could be generalist medical practitioners, specialist medical practitioners, nursing professionals, midwifery professionals, traditional and complementary medicine professionals, paramedical practitioners, pharmacists, environmental and occupational health and hygiene professionals, dietitians and nutritionists. The second category is health associate professionals. Health associate professionals perform technical and practical tasks to support diagnosis and treatment of illness, disease, injuries and impairments, and to support implementation of health care, treatment and referral plans usually established by medical, nursing and other health professionals. Appropriate formal qualifications are often an essential requirement for entry to these occupations, in some cases, relevant work experience and prolonged on-the-job training may substitute for the formal education. The examples of health associate professionals are medical imaging and therapeutic equipment technicians, medical and pathology laboratory technicians, nursing associate professionals, medical records and health information technicians, community health workers, and ambulance workers. The third category is personal care workers in health services. Personal care workers provide direct personal care services in healthcare and residential settings, assist with health care procedures, and perform a variety of other tasks of a simple and routine nature for the provision of health services. These occupations typically require relatively advanced literacy and numeracy skills, a high level of manual dexterity, and good interpersonal communication skills. The example of this category are health care assistants, and home-based personal care workers. The fourth category is health management and support personnel. Health management and support personnel include a wide range of other types of health systems personnel that has various roles in organizing health services. The examples of this category are health service managers, health economists, health policy lawyers, biomedical engineers, medical physicists, clinical psychologists, social workers, 
medical secretaries, ambulance drivers, building maintenance staff, and other general management, professional, technical, and administrative and support staff. The fifth category is health service providers not elsewhere classified. This category can cover members of the armed forces engaged in actions with primary intent to enhance health including commissioned medical and nursing officers and combat medical technicians, and other categories not classifiable as participating in the formal or informal health labor market but providing health services including, for instance, medical interns and trainees who are providing clinical services as part of their basic medical education, for example, medical student intern and hospital volunteer. Based on the international standard classification of occupations, we can find nursing profession in the first and second category. In the first category the nursing professions are professional nurse, specialist nurse, nurse practitioner, clinical nurse, district nurse, operating theater nurse, public health nurse, nurse anesthetist, nurse educator. In the second category, we can find assistant nurse, enrolled nurse, practical nurse, You have known the classification of healthcare workers. In order to enhance today's topic, I invite you to imagine the context that has interaction between nurses and another healthcare workers. After that, you observe several videos that show nursing activities, then identify common vocabularies used by nurse in the videos. I will show you the context where nurses and another healthcare workers collaborate in workplace. 1. Nurse is administering medication based on doctor's order. 2. Nurse is collecting the patient data that will be documented by medical recorder. 3. Nurse and doctor are discussing patient condition for deciding nursing interventions. That's all for today's video lesson, I hope this very helpful. See you!